Hello, we're back in Mr. Isaac's class. Uh, today we're going to be playing around a little bit with Code Combat, uh, the activity that's offered through Brain Pop's Game Up, uh, primarily because we'll probably add this as a quest for my kids, so I'm just going to play through it a little bit. We're going to go through the dungeons of Kitgard. Code Combat has uh, quite Time a website with a lot of different things you could do. Um, I love what Brain Pop does is it gives you, you know, bite size. Uh, you know, uh, ways to, to get involved in the environment, and then you can decide if you want to go further. But the activities that Brain Pop offers definitely gives you a good, solid activity for your students. So I'm going to equip these. Uh, so cool. So I have boots now, at least. Thank goodness. And apparently this, the boots let me move down, left, right, and up. And I'm going to play. And we're going to try to avoid the spikes and collect the gem. Let's see. Looks like I need to follow here, and let's see what we got. For the win! Oh, this is cool, grab too. The treasure. Already just starting right in the coding. So, grab you the can treasure. Use these methods. Okay, it gives me a few methods, which is a great way to start learning Type here. Type your code on the right. All right. Let's see. We got it. All right, avoid the spikes, collect the gems. So, hero move right. I'm going to do hero move down. And run it. Let's see. Uh oh, fix your code. Missing quotes. Hero dot. That's interesting because reference hero is not defined. Oh, I spelled hero wrong. Okay, that would be it. Always a good lesson. I'll do. Actually, I can use this too. Hero move down. I don't want to move down twice. Okay, syntax spelling matters. Okay, and now we're going to hero move right. Now I believe I'm avoiding the spikes, but let's see. And there we have it. I think we made the first one. So we did essentially three little lines of uh, Java what a strip. Travesty. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got some XP, some gems, some more XP, and a leather belt, which I imagine I should equip if I can. Let's see. Gems the in the deep. Win. Right, yeah, I'm going to equip my belt, which adds extra health. That's always good. And we are going to play. Move right. All right. Remember, here's how to move. We got that. Okay, hero move right. But now, grab all the gems. Okay. And then I'm thinking we're going to... Ooh, we're going to... Let's see. Will hero move right? We'll try that and see what happens. Move right got that. Now we want to move down, but, oh, that's not right. All right, let's give this a try. Move right. Move down. But we don't want to hit those spikes. All right, she stopped. That was good. So now move up, up. I'm going to try two ups and a right. Does that make sense? I think so. Move right. Move down. Move up. Move up. Move right. We are done. All right, we're doing great. More XP. I wonder what we're going to do with all those gems. Um, we didn't get any new, like, things or anything. So let's go. There's not so much to do in this one. Let's see how far we get. For let's see win. where it leaves us. All right. Don't run into spikes. Collect gems. Don't let the ogre see us. I see the ogre. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see what we gotta do. So we wanna go around this. So let's move do it. Move right. Alright, so we're gonna now move. Move up. Move. I'm surprised we don't have to put semicolons in there, but that's alright. Move right. Move down. Move. Oop, not my move right and let's run move right move up move right move down move the right doesn't even know where this is all right now look at this we're a new item this time i do believe I'll probably equip that Alright, now we're gonna learn 
an enemy's true name to defeat it. Okay. For the win! And now we're gonna equip this, which will let us attack. Okay. Attack and till. All right, now we're getting into a little more stuff. Blue Friday. Attack Brack twice. Collect the gem. Attack Treg twice. Your hero must survive. So let's see. So start the level. So where are these guys? There's Treg. Where's the other one? Okay. Let's. That doesn't make sense. Let's move right. Move right. Attack. Oh, okay. so we knew he was coming. I guess. Now we're gonna move right. Hmm. Let's start there. Move right. Attack. Move right. Shishwamika. Okay, we need to attack him now, which we're not doing. Okay, so we need enemy name, we need tread. And we need to do that twice. Oops. Whoa. Whoops. This should do it for this. Who fright? We're gonna be on Who fright? She Come. All right, no problem. We did it. Thank goodness for the sword. I All right, level four already. All right, you've defeated ogres with code. You win. Challenge yourself to play against a different, using a different programming language. So I guess my question is now, it looks like we're gonna start back at the beginning again. So this would make us want to go to code combat for more, I do believe. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Snap thought, mix your own quiz. We can make a quiz for what we just did. Um, Brain Pop includes lesson ideas, including tutorial videos and stuff, some printables, and standards, all the standards that it goes with. So that's awesome. So anyway, um, I have my students often do other stuff in code combat. So in this case, you know, I might have them start here and then for those who want to advance the way my class works, they could then go into the full code combat experience. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and we'll be back with uh, more Brain Pop activities, including um, creative, I think it's called creative coding. Talk to you soon.